Hey After Effects buddies, let's take a look at how to make some kind of Terminator-like robot eyes. So this is my friend James there. Whoa, what a dude. Look at that. Okay, so let's break this down. Let's start with those eyes. So I'm going to do a new composition. I'm going to make it 200 by 200. 25 frames per second to match the footage. And I'm going to call this uh, Eyes 2. Let's do that. Okay, and 10 seconds long is fine. Okay. First thing I'm going to do, background layer. This will help when we add a curves effect. So I'm just going to call this layer background. Always good to name your layers. Okay. And then another new solid layer. New solid. And I'll call this eye ring. Whoa. There we go. And on this, I'm going to draw a mask. So I'm going to go to my mask tools and choose the ellipse tool and if I start at the very center there and draw out if I hold down the shift key I'll constrain the circle if I also hold down the command key or I believe the control key on a PC it'll pop it so it's centered from where I began okay so on this I'm going to find the audio oops audio spectrum and drop that onto that there we go and I need some audio, so let's go and get some Earl Scruggs, okay. Great stuff, all right. So let's go to our effect and choose our audio layer. So just open my effects, there we go. Audio layer, foggy mountain breakdown. Okay. Path, mask one. Groovy. Now you can see that the kind of edges of that mask there affecting the effect so if i go to mask and choose none rather than add hey presto we've got it all back so let's go and also change the color of this to let's make it the outside color let's make it white and perhaps the inside color just slightly off white a little bit of contrast there okay now i want to make this rotate so I'll hit the R key for that layer and I'll use a simple expression. I'll alt click on the stopwatch and type in time times, let's say uh, 40, try that. So it's going to rotate by 40 degrees every second. That works for me. I'm going to duplicate this layer, hit S for scale, scale it down. Duplicate it once more S for scale, scale it in between, and then hit E twice, EE, -E for ex open up the expression, and change it to time times minus 40. We'll go the other way. Okay. Then I'm going to add an iris. So I'm going to go to my shape tool, click on there. I've got a radial fill and no stroke. So I'll start to draw an iris and I can hold down shift and command again, get it in the center. And then I'll just click on my V tool and this little beauty will turn up, this little arm. So I can push that in to affect the kind of feathering of that gradient. And I'll just drop that behind the eye rings. There we go. Just get it nicely, nicely centered. Okay, that works for me. Then I'm going to add an adjustment layer, layer, new adjustment layer, and add the curves effect to this. So curves is just one of many ways I could use to colorize this layer. Okay, I could use colorama, tritone, I could, you know, I could use all kinds of stuff. Let's take some red out, that's pretty cool. Let's take some green out. Let's add some blue. Oops, wrong one. Blue. Okay, getting some blue eyes. Let's maybe add a little more contrast. Something like that. And that's that's the size of it. It's looking quite cool. Let's also add some glow to this. Glow. 
boom and let's get the radius on that nice and big so it's just got a kind of shine a nice little haze there we go so we've got our glowing robot eye there so let's just close that and we'll come back to that later so let's take our footage fighter.mov and I'll use create a new comp with that there we go and I'm going to track the eyes okay so I'm going to right click track motion here we go is my track point I'm going to move this over one of the eyes okay let's just zoom in a little bit so we can see that and I want to pick I don't want to move on the eye because he blinks so that'll ruin the tracking so let's just get the corner of the eye let's try that okay that seems to have worked fine and dandy so I'm going to create I'm going to use a track mask for this the other things I could do but this works just as well as any so I'll create a new solid I'll make it white make comp size I'll call it track mat okay go back to my composition window and I'm just going to turn that off okay I'm going to use my pen tool let's again zoom in on my track mat layer and just draw a mask around one I'm doing this quickly so don't have to be too precise and two like so okay and when I turn that layer back on oh weird so I'm just going back to my tracking layer over here I need a new uh, null object I'll call this uh, eye controller and just on my track mat here I'll set my motion target edit target eye controller yeah and I'll apply that and I'll parent my track mat to my eye controller so we've got weird white eyes okay I'm just going to drop that track mat on top of fighter.mov okay and I'm just going to turn it off once more so I can see the actual eyes because what I'm going to do is just here okay we starts to blink so let's just go here and hit M for mask set a couple of keyframes for mask path okay I'm going to come to a sort of finish blinking right here add a couple more and then I'm just going to go through some of these and adjust the mask as I go along to kind of match the eyes there we go a little one there just kind of match it up here comes a bl blink there a blink and opens back up so there we go so what I'm going to do I'm going to also just feather each mask by a very small amount just maybe three or four pixels Do that and go to my track mat here and choose alpha mat inverted and there we go put transparency on okay empty eyes so now I can take my eyes too pop that one there scale it down a little and duplicate it move this one over so drop them behind um, layers uh, parent them to our eye controller and there we have our robot eyes 
Let's move that over slightly. All right. And maybe on that, I'll put an adjustment layer on the whole thing. Layer, new adjustment layer. Put that on top. And maybe go into the Lumetri looks. And perhaps I just pick one of the creative looks. Just what should we have? Blue cold. All right. Lots of to choose from here. What's your matrix green? Okay, so we could put a look on it. We could just um, bleach. Oh, whoa, whatever you want. Little adjustment layer there to make it super sci-fi. Okay, so that is how to create some robot eyes. Thank you very much.